Hello everyone, and welcome back to Maytech. Today, we are going to look at different methods of attaching your material to the honeycomb bed of your laser cutter. These methods are going to be particularly useful if your material is either warped or bent, or to prevent it from warping or bending while you're cutting it. I'll be using some warped oak veneer and some warped Baltic birch plywood to show you how these methods work, but these methods should also work for most other materials too. We're going to start by looking at some different types of magnets you can use. Then we're going to move on to looking at these mini hold down pegs. Just quickly before we get into this video, if you could please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, it would be greatly appreciated. Let's start by looking at the different types of magnets I like to use. On thin materials like this piece of oak veneer and even paper, I like to use these little button magnets. These little magnets are powerful enough to hold down most light materials, while they're also thin enough so your laser head won't hit them. Next, let's look at the bar clamps. These bar clamps are the clamps that I use the most. They're typically powerful enough to get most of the plywoods I cut to lay flat, while being thin enough that your laser head won't hit them if it happens to pass over them. And here we have these large and powerful utility magnets. These magnets I only use when the material's being too stubborn to lay flat with the bar magnets. And that's usually with plywood that's either a quarter inch or above in thickness. You do have to be careful with these magnets because as you can see they are considerably thicker than the bar magnets and you might bump your laser head into them if you're not careful. Next let's look at the other method I use for holding down material and that's these honeycomb bed hold down pins. You may have seen similar pins before. This is just my take on them that I developed through trial and error. I designed these pins in four different styles and a variety of different sizes to fit most honeycomb beds. First up, we have the standard pin style, which I made low profile enough so most laser heads would clear it. The next version is an easy pull style it has this tab at the top, which makes it easy to grab and pull out of your laser bed. Next, I have these little stubbies, which come in handy if you don't have much border to work with. Next, I have this T-version, which allows you to use both sides of the pin to hold down material. I typically cut my pins from scrap 8th inch Baltic birch plywoods, but you can also cut them out of acrylic if that's what you have kicking around. Now if you're interested in my design files for these pins, I will have a link where you can grab them for a few bucks in the description below. In the file, you'll find my four styles in a variety of different sizes, and I'll also have them in Lightburn and SVG formats. Well, that's it for this video. If you guys want to know more about the magnets I used or where I got them, there'll be a link in the description below. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. All right, we'll see you all again next time.